Hi, this is Dr. Ivan Meisner, founder of BNI, and today I would like to talk a little bit about doing a weekly networking presentation. If you belong to a strong contact network like BNI, where you get together every week and you talk about the business that you are in, it's very important to prepare for it. My recommendation is that you break your business down into what I call their least or lowest common denominators. A small piece of what you do, a product that you have to offer, a service that you have to offer, maybe a benefit of a product or service. When it comes to weekly presentations in a strong contact network, specific is terrific. The more specific you can be, the greater the results you'll receive. Here's an example of probably the best presentation I've ever seen at a BNI meeting. It was actually done by a florist. The florist stood up at the meeting, reached under the table, and pulled out a single rose. It was about this long, and it was covered in cellophane, and it had a grocery store sticker on it. He held up the rose and he asked everybody, uh, what do you think of this rose? Now everyone in the room realized that he had bought it from a grocery store, so nobody wanted to say that it looked really good. And he looked at everyone and said, it's okay, you can be honest. It's a pretty good looking rose, isn't it? Well, they agreed, it looks pretty good. He took the cellophane off, he held it up, he said, yeah, I picked this up from the Winn-Dixie grocery store right before the meeting started. They do a pretty good job on their roses, but let me show you one of my roses. And he reached under the table and he pulled out a long stem rose. No kidding, this thing was this big. It was huge. He held up his rose and he said, take a good look at this rose. First of all, look how thick the stem is. It was, it's as thick as a pencil, very thick stem. Well, it's important to get roses like that because the thicker the stem, the more water it can draw up into the flower, and the flower was twice as big on his rose than it was on the Winn-Dixie rose. He said, here's the roses that we offer at our floral shop. Here's the rose that I picked up at the Winn-Dixie grocery store and held it from the tip and he went like this and the rose kind of flopped back and forth. And he said, here's the Winn-Dixie rose, here's our rose. There's only three cents difference in price. Theirs is more. Well, he nailed it. He absolutely nailed that weekly presentation. Why? Well, first of all, when he was done, everybody in that room was thinking, I'm an idiot if I buy a rose at the grocery store. Wow, look at the difference between the two roses. I'd spend a little bit more money for that when in fact, I could save money and get a much better product. I could see this floral shop owner in his shop training an employee on the difference between a rose at a grocery store and a rose at his shop. That's what makes a great weekly presentation. I explained that to a whole room of people once and one of the members of the audience went away and came up with something really brilliant. He came back to me the next time he saw me and he said, hey, um, pick a date next month, any day. We meet weekly on Wednesdays, any Wednesday in the month. I said, why? He said, just, just pick a Wednesday. So I looked at my calendar, I picked a Wednesday. He said, on that day, I'm talking about this. I said, okay. He said, now go three, four months ahead, pick a Wednesday. I picked a Wednesday. He said, all right, on that date, I'm talking about this. Well, I picked Wednesdays throughout the whole year. He had the entire year scheduled out. I said, what did you do? He said, I did basically my business 101. I heard you talk about the florist story. And I sat down and I created an entire curriculum for my business, my business 101. I broke my business down into LCDs, least or lowest common denominators little pieces of my business that I could go into detail on. I created a whole curriculum for the year, created the list, and then put it into my calendar. So a day or two before the meeting, I would get a reminder that says, you're gonna be talking about this topic. And I'd spend a few minutes preparing to talk about that topic. I've been doing that now for almost a year, he told me. I said, 
what difference has it made in the amount of business that you get? He told me, I have increased my business almost 600%. Six times the amount of business that I was getting a couple of years ago. And the only thing I've done differently was break my business down into LCDs, was to develop a My Business 101 strategy and then apply it consistently. And I did just like that florist. I was teaching people how to refer me, what to look for, what makes me different from everyone else out there. If you are in a program where you have an opportunity to do a weekly presentation, remember that you're there every week to try to train a sales force, not close a sale. You're not there to close a sale. You want to teach people how to refer you. And the deeper you can go in explaining your products or services, the more successful you're going to be. This is Dr. Ivan Meisner, founder of BNI. Thanks for watching.